everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are out on the side of the road in Kentucky at this huge outcrop. We are hoping to find some Ordovician aged fossils here today. It's a uh, site well known for all kinds of different sea life from uh, Ordovician period back in the Paleozoic. So uh, let's see what we find. All right, so I've been in the creek for like two seconds and already found this awesome plate here with so many crinoids. Crinoids are my favorite. Um, Alex told me I'm not picky enough, but I want to take this piece home with us. So a couple notes on safety if you do visit the site. You can see me and Alex have our high-vis vests um, because you are on the side of the road. Um, and we're pulled pretty far off. You have a nice big shoulder up here, but you want to be safe if you come here. I wouldn't bring pets. I wouldn't bring little kids with you, but uh, it's not not a bad spot. Plenty of space to pull over and so much rock to look through. Look oh. The detail on this thing. oh, that's a beautiful rhizome. Wow. I love it. <laughs> I found this guy with all these crinoids on him. I love the crinoids. They're just like happy little Cheerios. Yeah. And then it's got a big calcite pocket on the side that I think is a cephalopod filled in, but it could just be a little pocket. Here's a nice piece of a bryozoan with some nice detail on him. He's loose and tiny so we can take him even though he's not the most exciting thing. I thought there was a piece over here that looked like it had something cool on it, but maybe not. This piece here has like all these little like Trisossal burrows. That's kind of a neat piece. Not much going on that side, but little burrow marks are really cool. I've seen another one of those. I think that's another cephalopod piece. Maybe it's a coral. It doesn't have like the segments to it. Or it's a like a burrow cast because it's got like a, a brachiopod shell in it. So it might be like a little like worm burrow or some sort of creature's burrow. Put it in the bucket. Yep. This guy is cool. Got all this, these, uh, I think it's a bryzoans on this one. I think that might be too big to take home though. Gastropod. It's not the best in shape. I have another one in my bucket too. Let me see if I can pull it out. Oh, first. I like these brachiopod plates that are like all shell. Here's the other teeny tiny little gastropod. It's so cute. All right, there's another gastropod and it's pretty big in size. Do you see it yet? Zooming in. Look at him. He's so cute, I love him. Ooh, that was, was a weird voice. <laughs> Ooh, there's another one. This one might be a modern snail though. Does not want to focus. That might be modern, but there's no snail living in it anymore, so we'll take it. All right, next to my bucket is this cute little crinoid piece, which is my favorite. He's going in the bucket. Just pulled another awesome crinoid plate off the ground. Look at the detail and the difference in some of these little crinoid segments. All the little stars and flowers in them. Really an awesome, awesome piece. This might be my favorite yet. All right, first trilobite find. Little trilobite butt right there. Nice. And a little gastropod up here. I'm gonna see if I can maybe prep this one a little bit. Oop. And a little uh, spider web. Hopefully no one's living in there right now. It's too cold. All right, this piece I just picked up. It's got some interesting stuff. I think that this, uh, this big line down here might be a uh, cephalopod portion. With a little, a little crystal pocket in there as well. I think we've got a couple of gastropods. Those might be trilobite frag fragments for the darker ones. The light one's definitely a gastropod. 
Um, some lots of fossil soup, a cute little baby cry night right above my thumbnail there. That piece is definitely coming home with us. Alex says he found a, uh, a piece with a whole bunch of little trilobites. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Maybe right over here. Nice prize Owen. Are there more guys in here? A whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, there's a little, little butt of one up there. Awesome. All right, I just found this piece and there's a couple more trilobite fragments. There's this little trilobite butt right there. That's definitely part of a trilobite. Lots of bryzoans, brax. Oh, there's actually a lot. A lot of trilobite fragments in here. Look at them all. Got a nice big brachiopod that was just sitting on the rock here. Very cool piece. And then we've got this guy here that's got all kinds of little brachiopods on there, 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 there. The whole plate really. Really cool piece. That one's too big to take home though. I just picked up another another neat fossil soup piece, another death plate. And uh, we've got another little trail bit segment back here. So I might try to prop that out and see if there's more to it now that I have an air scribe. But uh, lots of neat little things on this one. This piece looked interesting. I don't know what that black thing is. If you know, comment. Lots of crinoids and more uh, troglobite segments. There, there, there. Are there any others? A whole bunch of them up here in this corner. Yay. So I was taking my bucket back to the car because I filled it up and I came across this massive piece. This one's not going home with us, but Look at all these brachiopods all stacked on top of each other there. That's super cool. Look how uh, how cute some of these little tiny brachiopods are. In this piece. That looks cool. Alright, these are pieces Alex found when he was climbing around. We got tons of little crinoids and this really nice bryzoan in here. Big right there. And a little trilobite guy. Nice. And number two, it's got this thing on it. Oh! That, I think, might be part of a cephalopod that's broken apart. Eh, it might be carnoid. Either way, that's really cool. I love it. Here's another of Alex's finds. It's got a nice little gastropod shell on it. I found a big one of those at Oak's Quarry. That looks like maybe the same species. Oh, just some looseies. Some little loose bryzoans. Nice. This piece has a really nice, <laughs> nice calcite pocket in it. That's really cool. Ooh. Got nice bryozoans in there and all sorts of shell hash. I feel like bryozoan is the word of the day. Because yeah. I have more bryozoans. Woo! There are just tons of little loose bryozoan fragments through here. Holy cow! And then a really nice crinoid piece that I might take home because I love them. This piece has a nice big calcite vein that might be another nautiloid that's been replaced with calcite. I'm not sure. I might stack that one off to the side and come back for it. So uh, I'll leave it sitting right there. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can get this out of here. Oh, that's coming home with us. That's a nautiloid. That's a huge nautiloid chunk. Oh. That's so exciting! So this one's a neat one because it shows the uh, the cross section of all. All right, that truck was loud. So this piece is a neat one because it shows the cross section of all of these brachiopods stacked on top of each other. All these little shells stacked layer after layer, making up this big piece. So that's a cool piece. I think we might have some more trilobite fragments and. In in here. Those lines there, I wonder if I can try to prep that out. I might wait till I get a little bit better at fossil prepping first though. Literally every single piece is just full, full, full. It's hard to pick which ones to take home because they all have stuff in them. But the trick is to find the best stuff. 
in this little piece. I don't know what that is. If it's a, another type of crinoid or a, just a really weathered away gastropod shell. Hmm. Look what Alex found. Two more really nice sized gastropods. These are so cool looking. I've never found so many of these in my life. So I found my first of this type of brachiopied. I think it's a rack with the Cena or something. I can't pronounce it. I'll put the word on the screen. But uh, I find a lot of these at Caesars Creek State Park in Ohio. But I hadn't seen any of this kind here with this little little dimple in them. But uh, first one of that. I'm happy. Let's see. There's some other pieces I wanted to look at while we were over here. A couple of smalls with lots of brachiopods. We moved up about maybe 100, 150 feet. We were way down there before. Um, so we moved the car up, so we're in a different section now. And this section seems to have more brachiopods. The last one had tons of bryozoans and crinoids. There's still a lot of bryozoans here, but uh, I'm seeing less and less crinoids. So we might be in a different different section or a slightly different age of the rock. They're all Ordovician, but a little bit younger or older. Um, I think these are a little bit younger based on the dip. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, backside of some brachiopods there. Some nice ones there. This guy. I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll take him home and clean him off. Add him to the stack. And, uh, another nice plate there. And, uh, there are some crinoids here. Less, less frequent, but they are still here. All right, I have two more pieces I picked up right next to each other and both have some trilobite segments. This one's got this little trilobite butt right in there. And uh, this one's got some more buried segments up in here. Both those two little lines and this piece here, I think are all trilobites. So, uh, wow, we found, we have found so many trilobites today. I was expecting to find like two max. These brachiopods are so stinking cute. There's some more here. There's some bigger ones in this rock here. Ooh, nice brachiopod in there. Man, just look at the like, it's so cool, just the pattern of all of these guys just laying there. This piece kind of looks like the state of Ohio. Uh, right there, we're down here somewhere in Kentucky. Alright, first of all, this is a really nice piece. You've got some crinoids. I think that might be part of a trilobite. These might be trilobite sheds. Those also might be trilobites, I'm not sure. But then, this piece right down here, see that swirl? That is some sort of gastropod. And there looks like there's another little swirl there. So that is a really, really cool piece. Look how delicate this little bryozoan guy is. He's so cute. Noises. What did you find? What this is so cool. Okay. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that's so cool! Oh, that's like the best, that's the best cephalopod of the day! Look at that thing! Oh, it's so big! We were almost were about to leave without it! Holy cow! Yeah, a little rock on top of it, I saw the edge and I popped that off. Oh my goodness, that's, that's crazy! Alright guys, we gotta get going. We've got two or three more spots in Kentucky to hit up today. A couple of uh, geode sites and a possible agate site. So, uh... I think this is the end of the video for now, but we found a ton of great stuff here today. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Other than that, thank you so much and have a great day.